Hi folks and welcome back to another playthrough of Kerbal Space Program. Now in this um, set of videos, or video even, what I'm going to, going to be doing is bringing the Grand Tour ship over to the dual system. Let's give you a quick rundown of the ship. This is the um, Venture, Venture Star, originally named I know. The front of it, you can see it's got some RCS to help it move, help it um, steer around. Especially when thrusting, for, for some reason, in spite of the fact that it looks pretty stable and uniform, does seem to drag to one side for some reason. And I've checked the landers and they're not got any fuel in them or anything like that, so I'm kind of baffled as to why it's doing that. But anyways, the RCS seems to fix it. You'll see on this side of it, near the front of it, that's the left hand side, these two massive nuclear engines. I've also got them um, science module as well. That's so when I do all the experiments and everything, I can repack them for use again. Fuel tanks. Well, pretty self-explanatory, really. A couple of landers, which will work on most of the Julian moons, i.e. Paul, Bop and Val. But for Tal and Lathe, uh, they won't work, actually work on. Now for Lathe, I've got a couple of um, space planes coming over on the other Grand Tour ship. But um, for Tal, I'm pretty much going to leave as it is, really. That's one, one hell of a pig to land on at the best of times. Certainly not going to risk my kerbals at the minute. And lastly, on the back of the ship is the actual science, actual lander pods. I'm going to be using these to store experiments in, and hopefully make the trip to the Julian system somewhat worthwhile. Really, I'm going to see how much science I can take back in total. Really. But now, of course, with Jewel, the best way to get into the system, or at least the most exciting way, is to air a break. You can see here from Mechjeb, Mechjeb's um, landing, landing predictions. This is going to be my air break after, after the air break. This is going to be my, my orbit after the air break, should I say. I'm going to be hitting a periapsis of just over 110 kilometers. So this is going to be exciting to say the least. So I'm going to sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, and here we go. Now, if any of you have seen 2010, which is a sequel to 2001, this scene probably relates to it quite a bit, really. If you look in the distance, you can see Jewel and its moon just fluttering around it. And hopefully, we are going to get into orbit around it in one piece. All being well. So, we have nothing for it but to try. Let's have a go at it. You can see, I think it's Tylor to the right there. Lathe just crossing Jewel and Val behind it. Bop and Pol or Well, they'll be around here somewhere. I'll get around to visiting them. Hopefully once I get into a stable orbit. You know, the most part you've all been waiting for. The actual breaking around Jewel itself. You know, hopefully I'm going to come out of the scene the other side in one piece. So hopefully there's plenty that could go wrong. I guess all that's left to do now is point a ship at the towards Jewel. Keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best. Here goes.
I'm sure to the relief of every Kerbal on a ship who actually managed to survive the air-breaking manoeuvre. And, even more significantly, we're still in orbit as well. So, obviously the next step is to actually get the ship back into, or circularize the orbit even. And then, we'll have to get the rest of the ship sorted out then. So with that in mind, I'm going to plot a manoeuvre node there, circularize the orbit, and return to the to the next ships in a, in a couple of minutes after I've circularized. <laughs> 